Hello everyone and welcome back to Carrots and the Olives and welcome to my January setup. So we have reached the time of year where we can say goodbye to 2018 and hello to 2019. We can leave all those negative thoughts behind and take those positive vibes with us into the new year. Okay, my January setup is very, very simple. For those of you who don't know, January is actually my birthday month, woohoo to me. And so I decided to go very simple. I'm still trying to contemplate whether or not I want a very clean and simple spread versus a very decorative and going all out and adding color and different mixed media. But I think it's good to kind of start simple to really get a grasp on the type of bullet journal I want to have for this year. I want my January setup to set the tone for the rest of the year in my bullet journal. So I tore off the side of the page just to add a little bit of interest because my cover page is going to be very simple. I drew a circle, a messy circle, and I wrote let's start fresh and I added a little bit of detail around the circle and then I used my my aligners to add some color. Now the two my aligners I'm using is a mint green and also like a purple periwinkle blue. My next spread is my holy grail spread. I call this the month on two pages. If you've been following me for a while, you know I love a month on two pages. I have to see where the days land within each week and how the weeks land on each month. And so I try to keep this page very simple and clean, going with my theme. And I didn't add too much decor, but just enough to keep it interesting, cute, and simple. I love doing this bold outlining effect with the font I'm using and it's very simple by using a marker to write in the word and then to outline it. It gives a really nice effect with very little work. So if you haven't noticed already, I have a cold and I don't want to bog down this video with my sad and very deep coldy voice right now. So. I'm going to let the music play for the rest of the video and then I will catch you at the very end.
didn't want to start off the year by overwhelming myself so I kept my habit tracker down to something very simple and achievable and that is for me no spending tracking my reading to my kids and tracking my water intake and then I split that page in half to track my YouTube and Instagram just four times throughout the month and then move it on to the next page. Did I mention that January was going to be very simple? Okay, it really is. We're already on my weekly pages and I'm actually splitting up the pages into two weeks on one spread. And I think that that is going to be a good starting basis for me just to see if I'm actually going to be using the space. And if I'm not, then I don't have to feel too bad about being able to squeeze two weeks onto one spread. And did you guys notice my cute little mascot on the bottom right corner of the screen? That's Olive. Say hi to Olive. Uh, she's also available as a sticker set in my Etsy shop if you're interested. Also, if you guys haven't seen it already, I do have my 2019 bullet journal set up already up on my channel. I will link it below and above in the icon. And I appreciate you guys very much. Hi to all my new subscribers. We are growing and it's exciting. I'm so happy that all of you are here on this journey with me. And I hope that your holidays are fantastic and that you have a safe New Year's and a great start to 2018. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.